We've got a brand new crank for this engine. So the first step in preparing it to, for installation is to clean it. They come packed in Cosmoline and uh, you want to be very careful of the oil passages through the crank. Um, make sure you get them cleaned out well because they can have filings and stuff like that in there that will damage the bearings. So make sure you clean them thoroughly. And now we'll put on the timing gear. And when you're putting on the timing gear on the front of the crank, you want to pay attention make sure you have your timing marks pointed out towards you. You probably can't see them on the camera, they're just uh, basically center punch marks beside some teeth here. And uh, But anyway, you want to make sure that you're putting them towards the front of the engine so that you can line up your timing marks uh, in the gears when you're putting that together. So you line it up with the uh, key in the crank carefully. Yeah. And that one slid right on by hand. Sometimes you'll have to drive them a little bit. Uh, and if you do, good heavy socket works nicely. It'll fit right on over top and you can drive the gear down with it. Um, you don't have to worry about that, you know, not being super tight because uh, when the front pulley goes on there, it goes in and tightens against it the key holds it from moving, it's not a problem. We have our crank all prepared to go on the block now, so now we prepare the block ready to set the crank in. And we do that, we'll put in our main bearings. And you can see the main bearings have an oil groove all the way around, and an oil hole, and a lock. So you make sure you line uh, the oil hole up with the oil hole in the block, and the tab with the lock, uh, the notch in the block. And they sit down in there, and you're going to have a slight protrusion on each end. You want it to be roughly equal, it's going to be a couple thousandths of an inch, not very much. The bearings that go in the block have the uh, oil hole. The ones for the caps have no oil hole. So we put these other ones aside for the cap. The rear main bearing is a flanged bearing. It has a flange on each side because it is the thrust bearing for the crank. Uh, I like this setup a lot better than some that have the separate uh, little washers that go in there because they can drop out pretty easy. These here are solid one piece you don't have to worry about losing your thrust bearings. And it fits in exactly the same way as the others. Now with the bearings in place, we give them each a jab of oil. And smear that around good. Make sure it's all coated because the engine uh, it takes a minute for the engine to pump oil but when you uh, first start up because there's no oil anywhere in the block. So with the bearings in place we're ready to put the crank in and so now it is time to be careful of your timing marks. We got one on the cam here. Yeah, We got one on the cam here and uh, on this on the cam there's one dot on a tooth on this uh, timing gear in the crank there's a space where there's one dot in the valley. On the other side, well, about 30, 45 degrees from it, there's a spot where there's two dots on the valley. So you align the one dot with one dot. And it is sitting nicely in place. So now we prep the caps and set them in. Same process, put them in, equal out the ends, dab of oil, and set them in place. Make sure that the caps are numbered and so is the block. Make sure your numbers correspond 
and the number uh, on the cap is towards the number on the block. We're ready to tighten the main caps now. Uh, the specs call for 70 to 75 foot pounds, so I'm going to do that in three steps. Uh, I'm going to just snug them up hand tight with the 3 8 drive ratchet. Then I'll go 50 foot pounds and then to about 72 or 3. And I've got this set for 50 foot pounds. Yeah, the specs call for 70 to 75, so I'm going to set around 73. 